One of my favorite things is to find a good hack, especially when it's a home storage, home improvement hack. And I love those TikToks and Instagram meals that are like 10 Amazon kitchen finds that slack. And then I've been wondering, do I really need all these things? And that's what we're going to talk about today. So I understand that some of these um, tools were designed to help people with different kinds of disabilities and people that have different kinds of needs to operate things by themselves. And that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about things like there's this new hairdryer you must try and there's this new water bottle that is perfect for all your life's needs and will solve all your problems and there's this new course that you must do and there's this new and there's this new and there's this new and it just, and just becomes so overwhelming there's too much and I, I was thinking about how when I used to be very active on Instagram especially I used to bookmark a lot of these things like oh I need to buy this and I need to buy that and my Amazon shopping cart and list was like 10 pages long but then when I really think about it like I've gotten by really well with those things. I don't need many of them. I mean, some things were really good tips. Like I bought this spice organizer rack and it's been really helpful with my cooking. And there are many other such items. But on a whole, I think that there's this like ridiculous expectation or need that we have to own things and we just keep accumulating and accumulating and accumulating. I recently read a personal essay and this man was talking oh like i actually can't remember if it was a man or a woman who wrote it but the person was talking about how they were downsizing their home because i don't think the right word is downsizing they had a huge house because they had kids and everything and then now all their kids had moved out and they wanted to move to a smaller place and they had to get rid of all their things and they were like why do we have all these things it was so hard to get rid of those things and some things were things that they didn't need anymore and i understand like you you the things that you create and you own they pile up over time but then i just think about how so many times we buy these random things that we never use and we never need because we see a tiktok or an instagram and it's so easy and so cheap to buy things now like one click purchase buy now on amazon very easy and there's now Temu and aliexpress and all of these things that make it really easy for us to just keep acquiring things and if you really think about it, many of those things, like when last did you actually use it? When do you actually, and I know that there's some things that you don't need or use often, but the one time where you need them, they are lifesavers. But I think that's why I'm really getting more into like the buy nothing groups and searching for free stuff on um, Facebook marketplace or renting. Cause I found these websites where you can rent things that you need. Like, so there's one time where everybody was sharing this um kind of vacuum cleaner thing that could allow you clean your sofa and your carpet and you could see like how gross it was after you used that thing to clean it kind of like a steaming machine and i actually considered buying it but then i thought about it, like how often am i going to do this and even if i do really need to do this often i'm pretty sure i can find where to rent it i don't need to buy this and another thing that I've been thinking about relating to this topic is a while back in the Money with Katie, either the newsletter or the podcast, she talked about how there was a TikTok she stumbled upon where the person was talking about how you're not an influencer. You don't need to have 100,000 things in your skincare routine and you don't need to buy everything immediately. Like delayed gratification is a thing. And I know we always talk about, like everybody's always talking about the instant generation and how we want everything instantly, blah, 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 which yeah sometimes people go overboard with it like don't eat avocado toast which is quite silly but there are things that we don't even think about oh do i need to get this right now even if it's something that you need so last year or two years ago i've been wanting to buy the ninja speedy for a while and for some reason i felt like i had to buy it like then and immediately but i was like no i actually don't have to buy this now i can save up for it and buy it in the future i can even if i have a credit card i don't have to use my credit card to buy it I don't have to like i don't have to have this right now and I, I bought it late last year and i've been using it and i use it to cook almost everything now so i'm actually using it and i'm getting good use from it but i was putting myself under some ridiculous pressure to own it immediately i saw it and i wanted it which is not a great thing to do and i think just seeing everything on on the interwebs and seeing all these unboxing videos and you see like piles and piles of of things and it's like oh i can get that too and i should get that too but no really you don't have to get it and even if you do want to get it and you feel like you have to get it you don't have to get it immediately there's something to be said about waiting and delaying purchases 
so how i'm combating that for myself is i'm actually taking my time with purchases i never buy anything immediately anymore and i do this thing with my husband where we're like if you want to buy something you have to wait a week depending on how big or small it is some things will wait a day but most things is like you have to wait a week and if you still want to buy them you have to wait another week and think about how much it costs and then you have to look at the budget like by the time you're doing all of these things like i don't want this thing anymore it doesn't matter <laughs> it's not important but then if you still want to go through all that process and say yes i actually want to buy this thing then we need to make a plan depending on how much it is for purchases on a certain amount we can just go ahead and buy it but for purchases of ice that amount we have to plan like okay when we buy it how do we want to spread the cost and things like that and we just have to realize that like at the end of the day we don't need so many things because as cliche as it sounds when you die you're not going to take any of these things with you they're just going to be here so and honestly i have a anti-owning things agenda like if i can rent something <laughs> i would rather rent it and buy it because buying and owning things requires maintenance and so many responsibilities to come with owning things that i don't want to have like i don't want to buy a bicycle everyone's like oh are you gonna buy a bicycle because you live in amsterdam and you cannot ride a bike it's like actually no i don't want to do that i would rather rent i mean over time it may cost me more to do that but there's the cost of maintaining the bicycle there's the cost of fixing it if something gets broken or wrong with it and so on and i really don't want to do that so that's why i leave you today thank you for listening bye Thank you for listening to today's episode of A Couple of Things. If you found anything insightful, interesting, or you enjoyed this episode, please do share and remember to like if you can, wherever you listen to your podcast, leave a comment, subscribe, so you get the future episodes. Thanks. Before you go, this is a reminder that you can ask me to talk about a specific topic or answer a question that you have by filling the form in the show notes to submit your suggestion or question. Bye. Turn Amazon chicken dog. Kitchen chicken dog.